Yeah, so um, I have a lot of things going on through my mind, so I kind of wrote it down to coordinate. But um, first, I'd like to echo the points of the other brothers that came up here and said what they did, um, because it really, it really is true and it really is important. Um, they said it better and more eloquently, eloquently than I probably could have, but um, I just wanted to put that out there. And also know that, um, like, I know we're ending uh, soon, but like, don't let these experiences like fly out of the window as soon as you exit this event. Like, whether you like it or not, um, for the sisters that decided to wear hijab today, like, you have made at least 100 new friends, 100 good friends, um, with with like the shared common experience, and like. These are people that you could um, talk to and continue these conversations beyond these doors. And uh, I definitely encourage and um, advise you not to like let these conversations end uh, like as soon as as soon as this event is over. Um, and, like you know where the Muslims are at. You see a sister with wearing a hijab. You can flag her down and talk to her about it. You know that on Tuesdays and Wednesdays we have a Dawa table out. You can come and talk to the people there. So and if. Yeah, basically that was my point. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like their eyes kind of like, like lit up and we're like, oh, hello, you know, like all the was from the guys too. It's just like, there's like this like proudness in their eyes, you know, kind of like admiration. And it was kind of just like cool to see because it wasn't really expected, you know. And the girls were happy too, obviously, but it was like, it was like very different between the two genders and stuff, um, both of which were, you know, wonderful feelings. Um, but, so I kind of just have to say that, that it is kind of weird because you don't really, realize the admiration that guys do have when you do it. So, I mean, even like when you just see them walking, you don't really think about it. Um, and also for the girls, like I have to say, it was really cool just to see like different, like whenever I saw purple, I was like, oh look, there's somebody that got really excited, you know? And like, I even saw some people who weren't wearing purple hijabs and, you know, they were like yellow or green or whatever, and they weren't Muslim too, and that was just really like enlightening to me. Um, and I know like for us Muslims, like we do know what the hijab is about and what it kind of stands for and stuff. So we have some sense of it. Um, but for all the non-Arabs and all the non-Muslims who were actually willing to go out and wear it, um, I really like appreciate your guys' efforts to kind of like reach out and just like learn about things that aren't common to you and just be willing to just experience different things in the world because that takes a lot, especially if you're you know, by yourself and do not, you have no friends to go with you. So thank you to all you non and non-Muslims for actually giving it a shot and being willing to learn.
everyone for coming out to this event. So definitely all the emails I got, I will be updating you on MSU events. This is not the last time you're going to hear from me, so I will still continue to bother you. Don't worry about it. And thank you so much for participating in this, and I hope you got something out of it. If you ever need to talk to any of us, we're always at the Cross Cultural Center. Just walk in there, you'll see a bunch of PJMEs, and you can ask any questions. Okay. Thank you.